Hello everyone. In this video, I will guide you how you can use our tally integration model. So on Transact, we have provided feature of tally integration where uh, whatever document, whatever invoices you are creating on Transact, you can easily push them in tally. Let me show you how. So first of all, you need to go in tally integration module on your left hand side. Here you will see tally integration module. Please click on this. Now, this is our tally integration. So as you can see that invoices, debit note, credit note, uh, whichever the financial document we create that comes in our tally integration. So in order to move them in tally, first of all, you need to approve them, uh, map their ledger and then approve them to uh, integrate in tally. We do have other option like payment approval, journality, ledger settings. So ledger setting is used to define your ledger in order to approve and map it as per the tally. So I will come back to my document approval and here I have two of my sales invoices which I want to uh, integrate in tally. So how I can do it? I will select both the sales invoice and on your right hand side very top you will see bulk approval option. Click on selected invoice. Now here as you can see that I have already defined the ledger so it is coming here. Suppose if do you do have multiple ledger you can define it in ledger setting and accordingly it will come in drop down. Now, going below, uh, I will select approve. You can use manual or reject as per your requirement. Now, on the second invoice as well, I will go ahead and click on approve. Now, click on submit. Once I will click on submit, so both invoices are moved from pending to approved after mapping the ledger. So you can see that in approve, both of the sales invoices available. Now, what next I need to do? So uh, you need to download the reports in order to integrate it. So you need to go in tally reports. Here you will see all our report option is provided sales register, purchase register, payment register and credit note register. So uh, in reports, invoices will only come once you will approve them in uh, document approval after mapping the ledger. So as I have just approved my uh, sales invoice, so I will use sales register extension to generate the report. Click on this. Now here you can use the filter as per the creation or invoice date or you can also use the billing address. Here is the voucher number. So voucher number is mandatory and do remember that always keep the voucher number as one. Now click on generate report. Once you will click on generate report, an Excel file will get downloaded which you need to integrate in tally. So let us uh, move to the next step and how you can now integrate this report in Excel. So for integration, uh, we do have a Chrome extension which you need to download. You can very well refer our another video on how to download Chrome extension that will be very helpful to you. Now, as you can see that I have already added the Chrome extension. So it is coming in my taskbar. Click on this. Once I clicked on this, my uh, Chrome extension got opened up. So uh, whenever you are working on Chrome extension, do remember that tally needs to be open in the background so that uh, it can connect easily with the Chrome extension. Uh, so you can see the port number, local host, uh, reconnect and tally connection status. Each and every uh, detail is provided here. Warning tally company mismatch. This comes whenever your tally profile name and your uh, company profile name of transact is different. So uh, in this case, I will click on continue. Now it will ask me that what exactly I want to do on this extension. Uh, so currently I want to send voucher data to tally. Select this. Now this is uh, the platform where you need to select the file in order to do the integration. So I will click on choose file and this is the sales register which got downloaded. I will select it, click on open. Now I need to select which type of document is it. So this is sales voucher. After that, you will get option of validate file. Click on validate file. Now, please check. As I don't have both the item available in my tally, so it is asking me to approve it in order to create it in tally. So I will quickly go ahead and approve it. Now, please check both of the items got created in my tally directly from extension. Now, uh, I will get option of create new voucher. Same goes if you don't. If in your tally uh, there is any ledger missing or there is any counterparty missing, so it will provide you error report here itself. Now I need to click on create new vouchers. So once I create, uh, click on create new vouchers, please check. 
voucher created please check the report to verify now you can very well go ahead and check into your tally that this particular voucher have been created and you will get a transact id in the very bottom as well do remember few of the things are very uh, mandatory in order to do tally integration the very first is tdl file in your tally and second is extension of chrome in order to do the integration i hope this video will be helpful to you have a good day ahead